guys, welcome to another video. I'm super excited because today we are filming the late 1950s episode of the Vintage, the Vintage Series. Series. So much happened in the late 1950s that greatly influenced fashion and I think the most significant change that we saw is in the ideal silhouette for women. Introducing the designer of the decade, his name is Christian Dior. Christian Dior changed everything in the 1950s. He is the man who created and designed what was called the new look which is now what we know as the hourglass figure. Famous women that fit into this silhouette are Marilyn Monroe, she was very curvy, um, Elizabeth Taylor, and a popular Italian actress named Sophia Loren. They were all very curvy and they all had that hourglass figure. This is also the era of rock and roll music and the rockabilly trends. So much great music came from this time. Uh, artists like Elvis Presley, Ray Charles, and Johnny Cash. When we compare the late 1950s to the 1940s, things have changed. World War II is over and men and women are returning to their traditional roles. And women are becoming more feminine again, um, which means that women's beauty routines and regimes change. So because women are becoming more feminine again, um, they are seen to be having bigger boobs, uh, smaller waists, uh, clothing is tighter, dresses are tighter, much tighter around the waist. So that means that women have to wear corsets and girdles. Hair is worn um, with a little bit more volume than we saw in the 1940s, but it was short like this and it was uh, neatly curled and always very like neatly set. It wasn't long or fluffy like it was in the 1940s. So I have two main inspirations for this look and they are the one and only Grace Kelly. I love her. She is an ethereal angel and also a fictional character named Betty Draper from the TV show Mad Men. I'm going to be doing hair, makeup and two outfits from this era. So if you want to see me transform into a late 1950s queen, then please keep watching.
face makeup simple as that part is pretty standard and as you saw I added a nice lip color but onto the more exciting part of late 1950s makeup and that is winged eyeliner this is the time in history where real winged liner becomes popular in my previous videos the makeup and the eye looks have been quite simple but now makeup is an essential part of having the right look for the late 1950s so let's go big or go home i always say <laughs> But before we do eyeliner, I am going to put down some eyeshadow. So, we're going to be using two palettes. We're going to be using the Kylie Bible and the Amrezy palette, both by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So basically what I want to do with this is I just want to put a light shade on the lid and a little bit of shading in the crease, um, and then we'll do our winged liner. So... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a combination of Chai and Bible and mix those two shadows together and use them in the crease. And then I think for the lid, I want to use this color here from the Anastasia palette called Wasted. And that's kind of the, um, and then we'll do wing liner. And that's kind of the look that Marilyn Monroe had. She had like a very bright lid and then there was definition in the crease. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see on the lid, I've done a pastel color um, on the lid and then in the crease I've made it a little bit darker and that's just to give the eyelid dimension and that was like a really popular style of eyeshadow from that era. Okay, now onto the liner. <laughs> so with the liner, I always do my liner with my eyes open. I start from the inner corner, drag it out to the outer edge and then I do the wing. So let's do this. Oh my god, I love how this looks. It's such a vibe. Okay, let's go upstairs and I'll show you the two outfits that I have. I'm completely obsessed with both dresses and you've probably seen me on Instagram wearing both of these actually when I was in New Orleans. I love both of them and I think they're both super cute. But let me know which one do you guys like better? Do you like the blue one or do you like the polka dot dress? 
So the next videos that I have coming up for the vintage series include two looks for the 1960s. I'm going to be doing the mid 1960s and then I'm also going to be doing the late 1960s. Um, so stay tuned for those videos because they are coming soon. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.